And welcome back everyone to Not Some Developments and today we're making a simple Muzzle Flash for your guns. This is a very easy tutorial and it really gives your game that like flavor. It really makes it visual. It looks very cool. It's super important so as you can see we have a particle emitter that shoots fire and smoke every time you fire basically. So this is a pretty easy tutorial and if you have any problems you can always just comment down below and I'll be happy to help. Reminder that at a thousand subscribers I'm giving away 5,000 Robux and if you're interested you should probably go ahead and subscribe if you want to get that free Robux. And then let's get into the video. And first of all obviously you need a muzzle flash effect which you can either get in the toolbox by searching muzzle flash and in theory picking anything that has a particle emitter to it. But for my video, I'll be using this muzzle flash that I've made. You can actually download this. I'm making it available for you if you join my Discord server in the description of this video. In the downloadable files muzzle flash, you should see this file right here, which is the muzzle flash effect. And this is the code we'll use later in the video. Go ahead, click download. Go back into your game. Open up your files. It should say muzzle flash.rbxm. Take this, drag it in close out of that I have two of them just because I already obviously did this tutorial when I made it but uh, this is what I have just dropped into the game click model move right this way you can locate where it went so muzzle flash right there now we're going to pick the view model that we want to add this muzzle flash effect to so go to your uh, replicated storage view models I'm gonna use the AK so duplicate that Go ahead and drag it into your workspace. Go ahead and take the muzzle flash that you just downloaded and set it right. You want it to be almost perfectly aligned with the barrel. So I think that's perfect. I'll just put it right there now you're gonna go ahead and obviously take it drop it into your view model now you need to actually connect it so rig it to the view model so I'm gonna be using this rig edit light plugin which is free and I'll link uh, this in the description of this video so you can download it if you want go ahead click that select your X74. Go ahead, find your main, click control, and then select muzzle flash and create a joint. You should see it appear right here. Now you can go ahead and close. You're done with the physical part of this. So your view model is complete. You can go ahead, take it, drag it back into your view models, and just get rid of the old one. Right? And it should have disappeared here because I put it into the re replicated storage. Go ahead, open up your framework client, right? Online, I think 271. So you can find this by um, just looking for this part of code, which is in the find first child item. Basically, you're just looking for this long line right here which is the criteria of that makes stuff transparent for me it's 271 for you it might be something else but look for this really long line of code now you shouldn't have this yet so for you it's going to look like this go ahead copy one of these um, functions doesn't matter which one go ahead here paste it in and change this name right here to um, in your view model, whatever the muzzle flash is called, so this one, you can go ahead literally just copy its name and then paste it, paste it right in. Now you're going to go ahead and either in the description of this video or in my Discord, this link right here, if you click it, it should take you to muzzle flash code or obviously the link below this video. And you have the semi mode and the full auto mode. So go ahead, 
copy that. Go back to your game, scroll down to, just click Control F and look for shoot. We're looking for the shoot function, so. Right there. For me, it's line 298, so we're going to scroll down right here. As you can see, we have semi mode and we have a full auto mode. So pretty obviously, right after like everything in semi ends, right before this end function right here, go ahead and make a couple of spaces. For me, it's lines like two, uh, 354, 355. Go ahead and paste the semi in. It should have this pop up and what this basically does is it goes into your view model finds the particle emitter turns it on for for me it's like a millisecond and then turns it off you can change it for a longer time or shorter time depending on how fast you want your muzzle flash to come off and on and then we're actually gonna go back to the code copy the full auto one and then go back to the game and right here for me it's line like 380 or something where it says full auto right after is shooting true make a couple of spaces paste that in and a lot of you guys noticed when you paste stuff it makes a, like a bunch of these little spaces you could get rid of it you could like clean this up a little bit it's not an issue it will still work perfectly fine and again this is the same thing as the one above but the only thing that changes is it's looking for that mouse button one so the shoot button hold and ammo being over zero so when you hold down the button instead of turning the muzzle flash on for a millisecond it will just hold it on until you obviously release the button so the muzzle flash will play until the button is released or aka you stop just shooting basically you're done with the code part you can go ahead and actually try this by playing your game start shooting as you can see I have a muzzle flash start going off if I hold it down muzzle flash is playing I run out of ammo nothing happens right again reload Shoot. it keeps firing off until I run out of ammo so that's how I make a muzzle flash you're done just for like your general knowledge you can also go into the muzzle flash and like edit the smoke and this particle emitter is actually just the fire and this is the smoke so you can go ahead here change stuff like brightness the light emitted um the lifetime of it how fast it goes so just the basic like speed and stuff so if you want to be like brighter or not you can change the brightness but overall you're done and then if you wanted to add it to any other view model let's say you're like your deagle. I already did it for the deagle, so you only have to code this tutorial once and then you just in the view models you add the component. So let's say we didn't add it here, it will still work perfectly. But if you add the component like we did in the AK, as you can see, you're gonna have the and uh the flash play. So if you like this tutorial, please like, subscribe, let me know if something doesn't work for you, I will help you out. If you have any ideas for the next week's video, let me know down below. Um, questions, concerns, go ahead. At a thousand subscribers, I'm giving away 5,000 Robux to 5 Lucky People, so a thousand Robux each. If you're interested in that, let me know. And then, see you in the next one.